Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the question that's asked in this live stream about TCAS and airliners and what do all those buttons mean. So for those of you not familiar with TCAS, a TCAS is a method that we can identify the existence of traffic and preferably try not to run into it. On most airliners you'll notice that on your little transponder that you have over here that there are a bunch of different options that you can select from. We'll go zoom in a little bit here. You'll notice there's a standby position which basically tells the our transponder that's like okay just warm up. You have altitude reporting off, which simply provides the air traffic control with your current position. You have transponder, which tells not only your position, but your altitude. And then you have these two funky switches here. You have TA, and then you have TA slash RA. TA stands for traffic advisories. Um, this is going to be when all of a sudden you're flying along and you hear these systems scream traffic, traffic. We'll try to demonstrate that for you. It's a little involved. And then finally, our TA slash RA says traffic advisories and resolution advisories. So you're sitting here going, what is a resolution advisory? That's when the air traffic control system, I should say the TCAS system, will tell you what you need to do as a pilot to not crash into the thing that you're about to crash into. Now notice after turning that mode on, if I swing my view over here to a navigational display, in the bottom left corner, you're gonna see a thing that says TA only, which simply means traffic advisories only. The reason it's doing that is because of our current position and our current speed. The other thing worth noting too is our current traffic display is not showing anything. To actually do that on the 737 here, we have to actually click the TFC button. Uh, once we've done that, if I zoom out a little bit, you'll see that there is an enormous amount of traffic around us. So we are in New York City, far in the frame rate, by the way, but there's not a lot that I can do about it once you turn on AI traffic. It's worth noting at this point that in Flight Sim, multiplayer does not have the units actually showing up. These are all AI generated pieces of traffic that we're actually going to be basically sneaking up on, trying to demonstrate how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get us airborne. Now this aircraft is going to holler at me about 15 different ways to Sunday because I took no time to get my flight management system all set up. I'm just YOLOing if you prefer it another way. But one of the things you have to keep in mind is that whenever you're using any of these, the difference between what is a traffic advisory and what is a resolution air advisory basically comes down to the danger and the distance you have from that particular target. So if you take a look at the bottom right corner there, as I'll pick up some speed here, you see that I have one traffic contact, and you'll notice that it's holding at a steady altitude. You'll also notice that it says plus 99 next to it. That simply means that particular traffic contact is located 10,000 feet or more above my current position which uh, basically puts it in a pretty safe spot as far as how we go during our flight here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get us up in the air, and I'm going to go ahead and turn towards all that pesky traffic that we just saw quite a bit of over there on my right. Now, what makes this interesting, what's so fun about these systems, is you'll notice it also knows things like what the other aircraft and traffic contacts are doing. For example, I have this one over here, which has a down arrow, which means it's currently 2,500 feet above me, and it's currently descending. You can see I have another contact over here, or kind of at my uh, it's called at four o'clock, and he's uh, at constant altitude at 4,800 feet above me. Now, the nice thing is you'll notice that all these contacts are the color white, which simply means they're there for advisory purposes. Now, you'll notice over here on the left that the traffic warning only went away, and now it's saying TFC, notifying me the fact that we have both traffic visible as well as getting our resolution alerts. Now, a resolution alert is actually a pretty cool thing because the aircraft itself will scream at us to notify us that we're in a particularly dangerous situation. So looking right now, I notice about nine nautical miles away, there's an aircraft that's going to be about our altitude. It's actually probably going to descend right through us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue my turn here, go ahead and level this off. And now we're going to see what happens as we start to approach the contact. The first thing that this contact should do is you should switch its color to the color yellow. And when that does that, that is going to be indicating that you now have yourself a traffic advisory. Keep in mind the good folks at air traffic control can also give you traffic advisories in addition to your TCAS system here. So I'm going to push the nose down, and we're going to make this one very problematic. TA, when it turns yellow, oh, that's simply how it's sure the traffic content turns yellow. That simply means you need to be aware of this particular contact here. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to move, move your aircraft immediately. So let's go ahead and take a look here. we got about even altitude. We're looking right off the nose. He's right at our nose there. He's at the same altitude, and he's actually descending a little bit. So we've got to play a little bit of catch up here. And I, normally, I wouldn't actively seek contacts to try to slam into, but it's important you see how it changes. So right now, he's about 800 feet below us, and as a right off of our 12 o'clock, actually more like our 1 o'clock right now, I'm going to go ahead and pull the nose up nice and gently, and we'll hold it steady. He's a little bit of altitude. Now, if this were a real contact, what would happen, of course, is that he'd be getting all sorts of warnings that there seems to be a 737 doing something kind of reckless and dumb, which is awesome, because that will demonstrate a point perfectly. 
again, we take a look. We're about a 100 foot separation here. We're pointing right at each other. And the fact that the tra traffic did not start screaming at me really surprises me here. But then again, remember, this is taking into account three dimensional traffic, not two dimensional traffic. So we can see he's right over there on my left right now. And I'm going to come swing this way just a little bit. There we go. So we're about the co altitude, and we should be able to see each other pretty much. You know, there he is. And I'm just kind of swing over to the left a little bit. See how he's kind of tracking to the left? If you're wondering where he is. He's right there, by the way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to come swing to the left, and we're going to keep him in a constant spot on our horizon. We do the best we can to keep him at co altitude. He's a little bit below us. Notice the traffic system was smart enough to know that there was no initial chance of a collision here. Now, the reason being is because our target turned away from us, basically making it a situation where even though it looked like we were doomed, we weren't. There it is. You'll notice he turned yellow. He has now become a traffic advisory. Red 64 ATC now notice what's going to happen next. Monitor vertical. See how he turned red? And now listen. Now, if you look down on my display there in the center, you'll notice the fact there's this giant red square that's telling me, don't point my plane there. There's another airplane in line there. If you don't do something about it right away, this is going to put us in a bad spot. Now, if you notice, I'll let him go ahead and rip by at full speed here. Notice it went from don't dive to don't climb. And you can see that large red arc that exists right there. Now, he's just ripped by us, and he's gone from a resolution advisory to a traffic advisory because he is still within that minimum distance to us. As a matter of fact, we basically zipped by him. <laughs> he's just look at me going, did I just get passed by a 737? Now, it's important to know that when you're setting your transponder up in your aircraft, go ahead and get this nose up a little bit there. There we go. When you're setting this up, if you set this to TA only, you're only going to get the traffic advisories. If you set it to TARA, you're going to get both traffic advisories and those little emergencies where it actually showed up on my screen to tell me what I need to do with my aircraft in order to avoid that specific collision. So as you can see, the system's pretty sophisticated, and it's actually pretty cool because with a traffic advisory, technically, if we're under air traffic control, we should be okay. But it's always going to be the pilot command's responsibility to make sure the airplane safely gets to its destination. Enjoy.